now the first step is to delete these two files now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open program files now open infinite infinity nikki global launcher and then open infinity nikki global and then open this x6 game folder and then open save folder over here you can see paper bin and then you can see this PSO version so you can create a backup first so copy this file and once you copy it paste it over here now once you have a backup for these two files once you have a backup now you can make a right click and delete these two files now once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check you can just you have to close the launcher relaunch the launcher once again and then you can launch the game if you face any problem you can always put the files back now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall anti-cheat expert now for this you can again go back open this binaries folder from this location this is the location open binaries folder win64 and then here you can see anti-cheat expert open this folder here you can see ace setup 64 make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now make sure that your game is closed first launcher game close it now you can just click on yes click on ok ok and now you can launch the launcher and then you can launch the game once the launcher is open you can click on start and when you start the game during the launch it will reinstall expert anti-cheat so when you launch the game it will reinstall it and then you can check now the next step is to repair the game files now to repair the game files uh, you can go to the launcher and over here you can see up arrow over here just beside the start game option and then you can click on repair once the repair is complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to run resource detection or turn off ray tracing turn off dlss now if this is if you are able to launch the game only then you can try this step if you're not able to launch the game you can skip this step so once you launch the game over here at the top right here you can see this icon you can click on this icon now once you click on this icon now you will see this option start checking file integrity click on confirm and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check also uh, you can go to graphics settings and then turn off ray tracing so if ray tracing is on you can turn it off and then check also turn off dlss so if you're using dlss turn it off and then check also if the preset is set to like uh, ultra you can set it to high or you can set me set it to medium if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more turn off dynamic resolution so just lower down graphic settings apply the changes and then check the performance now the next step is to now for many users disabling xmp in the system bios has worked so you can go to system bios if you have this option you can disable it and once you are done playing the game make sure that you enable it after you play the game now the next step is to change windows power plan to power saver now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click on power options now over here you will see power saver option like this so if you see power saver you can select power saver save it and then you can launch the game you can even try balanced or high performance and check which one is working fine for you next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder 
and then select all the exe file. Select this exe file, click on open. Again, click on browse all apps. Open x6 game binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on open. And then open control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. Allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Select all the exe file. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, open this folder. Select this exe file, click on open, click on add. Again, click on it, browse x6 binaries win64. Select it. Now, once you add the game over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So, if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So, to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So, if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now, here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now, click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder once again select this exe file click on add once the game is added, now click on this down arrow. Now over here, you can select high performance. Again, click on add desktop app and then open x6 game folder binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on app open and then scroll down and find the exe file. Uh, find the game in the list. So once you find the game, Click on this down arrow, select high performance over here. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to roll back graphics driver. So if the latest driver is not working in that case, this is just an example. AMD users can go to AMD website and then install the older version. So select your graphic card, make sure that you select operating system and then click on find. Now on this page, scroll down and then click on view more version. So if the latest one right now is 566.36, in that case, you can install 566. Yeah, this is the studio one. So right now, this is the latest one. So you can try 566.14 or maybe 566.03. Download it. Once you download it, run the exe file. Make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then launch the game. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to update windows to the latest version this is very important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then 
select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to a microsoft website now on this website, install this Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download this x86 and x64 version. So click on x86 and then you can run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now download this x64 and then run this exe file as well. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed over here once installed then you have to restart the computer so make sure that you restart the computer after this restart is a must after this after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to update system bios this is important so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number like if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have a lenovo go to lenovo and then select your computer and then find the latest bios install it in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent ac adapter is connected when you are updating the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if it's not working you can just uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel